from the newsroom at news.com.au. We'll start in Queensland and three people were killed in a light plane crash yesterday. Business leader Tom Strahan, his 20-year-old son and their experienced pilot Gary Leem all died. The plane crashed in a remote area about an hour west of Brisbane with paramedics struggling to get to the site due to the thick bushland. Moving on now and in Sydney, Chris Dawson will learn his fate today after a marathon murder trial. Dawson is accused of killing his wife Lynette, who went missing back in the 80s, so that he could pursue a relationship with their teenage babysitter. Dawson has always maintained his innocence. Overseas now, NASA has called off the launch of its largest ever rocket, which was set to take off this morning. The unmanned flight was going to travel around the moon and back to pave the way for humans to return to the moon's surface in a few years' time. We don't launch until it's right. And in fact, uh, they've got a problem with the uh, gases going on the engine bleed on one engine. That was NASA Administrator Bill Nelson there. Now they will try and relaunch the rocket again later in the week. To sport, NRL star Paul Green will be laid to rest at a funeral service today at Kagari Oval. Up to 500 people, including the who's who of rugby league royalty, are expected to attend. The service will be live streamed on the QRL website. To celebrity news, Kim Kardashian is set to address the backlash over her infamous comments to Variety magazine in the upcoming season of her family's reality show. Back in March, Kim went viral for advising women in business to get your effing ass up and work, adding that it seems like nobody wants to work these days. The topic is mentioned in a new trailer for the Kardashians. Have a listen. You saw all of the backlash on the Variety interview? No one sympathises with you. I'm mortified. I do understand why people were upset. You got this. We're built for this. And finally, in royal news, Meghan Markle has accused members of the British press and newspaper readers of calling her children the N-word. Markle made the claim in a new interview with New York Magazine as she spoke about how, when she was a senior royal, she was expected to provide photos of her kids to the press pool that covers the Queen and her family. The Duchess said, and I quote, Why would I give the very people that are calling my children the N-word a photo of my child before I can share it with the people that love my child? It's getting messy, isn't it? Get the latest from news.com.au. 